everyone. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you, to those of you that celebrate this holiday. It is really nice to be back with you after being under the weather for a week and a half. And today's Tuesday's Healing Tidbit focuses on the subject of deep tissue massage. And this is coming out of conversations that I've had with people recently, as well as conversations that I've had with clients. So what I'm basically gonna share with you is the approach that I take doing deep tissue massage in session with you. And sometimes people have come in and have said, I want you to beat me up, you know, really work me, work me as hard as you can, or you can't hurt me enough. Well, okay, overall, yes, deep tissue massage, there is deeper pressure that is being applied to your body than there would be if you're just applying lotion or even working a little bit deeper from there. However, to me, going in and just roughhousing you as hard as I possibly can and just having you hurt during the session, to me, is a mindless approach and I'm not going to go in there and just roughhouse you. What I am going to do, though, is work in a therapeutic manner and areas where there are um, compromises to certain areas of your muscle tissue, whether there was an old injury and there was scar tissue buildup in the area, or if there's a weakened muscle due to an imbalance and some of the other muscles near it are recruiting themselves to help that weakened muscle out, causing adhesions in the muscle tissue, that is when I'll go in and start applying some of the deeper pressure techniques. So for example, and I'm giving one of many examples that could be out there, so please bear with me. So for example, if there is an injured area and there has been scar tissue that has developed around it, basically, ideally, muscle fibers run in a nice aligned fashion. And it's not necessarily up and down, they can go in different directions, but the individual fibers run in alignment next to each other so they can efficiently do their job. Now, if scar tissue comes into play and starts building up in a muscle, it starts to look like this, for back of lack of better demonstration here. So what I will do in this case, we'll go in with a deep tissue technique called cross fiber fiction and go in and literally cross the fibers with the technique to help this break up and open up. And once this starts to do that, then I'll use a muscle technique called, um, I'm sorry, deep tissue technique called muscle stripping and go in and strip the muscle to help the fibers start to align back to the way they are originally intended as best as I can. And that can also take place with some adhesions in the area. And when you receive that kind of work, it's not necessarily going to be the most relaxing work. You may feel some um, tension. You may feel some pain. If it's ever too much pain to the point where you're like clenching other body parts or you're not breathing, that's when I encourage clients to let me know because that's a sign for me that I'm going to pull back just a little bit because I don't want the rest of your body to be compromised negatively while I'm trying to help another part of your body heal. So some people have, you know, shared their opinion saying that that sounds more like a therapeutic technique or a clinical technique. You could put whatever label you want on it. Uh, when I do apply deep tissue techniques in a session with you, that's one of the ways that I will approach it. And it's a very general overview. So I hope this answers some of your questions a little bit when you come in and receive deep tissue work with me. And of course, if you have any more, definitely feel free to let me know. Um, so it was of course, being fun being back with you today. Have a great Tuesday and I'll see you next week.